Hello and welcome to Levi Stadium. I am Matt Smith for 5280 Sports Network. Thanks so much for tuning in. Well, Colorado loses a blowout of a ball game to UW. 41-10, to the Buffs get smacked. And they really didn't have much tonight. After Seppel Lufau got hurt in the first drive of the game, the Buffs really didn't have a great chance to win this one. It would have probably taken a miracle for Colorado to come back and come out victorious. But really, Steven Montez stepped in, and I really like the poise that I saw from Montez in the first half of this game. We had yet to see Montez come into a game and show that maturity if he hadn't started a game this season. He did that tonight, and it was very impressive. On the biggest stage that any of these kids have ever played on, Steven Montez showed up to play. They played decent football in that first half. They would trail at halftime. 14 to 7 and right out of the gate in the second half Seppo Lufau would go into the locker room a little bit earlier in the second quarter received treatment and was deemed good to go by the trainers and himself of course he would be good to go he'd have to lose both arms both legs to not play in this game but Seppo comes out in the second half first play has J Mac wide open ball is a little bit high but J Mac has the ball fall right off his hands tips it up Taylor Rapp, the freshman defensive back for this UW Huskies team, would intercept it and take it into the end zone. And really, the script was flipped. The last chance the Buffs really had in this game was the play directly after that on the kickoff. Tony Jilmes got loose and returned it about 40 yards, but ended up fumbling, and it took a very fortunate bounce for Colorado, picked up by Phillip Lindsay. They took it all the way down to the five at that point, trailing 28-7. Uh, to seven and then pretty much from there, at that point trailing 21 to seven, I should say, and then uh, UW holds into that field goal, it's 21-10, UW ends up pulling away in this one. Sefo Lufau finishes three of 13 with three interceptions and 21 yards. Montez, five of 12 for 60 yards, but it wasn't the offense that really uh, was uncharacteristic for Colorado, although they couldn't get anything going tonight, only accumulating 163 total yards. It was the defense. This UW Huskies team run, ran the ball all over Colorado tonight. Miles Gaskin, we spoke about him at length this week. Sophomore running back, first true freshman in Washington history to run for 1,000 yards in a season. Did it in back-to-back -back, uh, years and tonight. 29 carries, 159 yards, didn't make it into the end zone. But the one-two punch in his backfield mate uh, did, and that's Levon Coleman. 18 carries, 101 yards, and a touchdown. And this UW Huskies team really closed this one out early in the second half. It was a very long two quarters of football and a disappointing end to what was a magical season for Colorado. They do have a bowl game to play in, and it looks like it's going to be the Alamo Bowl right now. Uh, the most likely opponent, uh, in my eyes at least, would be West Virginia. We'll see if that stands. Colorado's probably going to get jumped by USC for the Rose Bowl. I'm just letting you know right now it's probably happening. They finished with the same amount of losses, and they lost head-to-head -to, -head to SC. It's a tough case to make for the Buffs to make the Rose Bowl, but the Alamo Bowl is still a very solid accomplishment for a team who put up 10 wins after finishing last the Pac-12 last season. Of course, this was the biggest single-season turnaround for Colorado after the game. Seppo Lufau and Tedrick Thompson absolutely heartbroken. Ted uh, sticking up for Seppo, saying that he wouldn't choose any other offense in the country, but Seppo very despondent, uh, really, really taking this one hard, and understandably so. The Buffs have been looking forward to this one all season long, and uh, when it finally became a reality, I think um, there, it, it, it took a little while to sink in for everybody. It was still surreal standing here right now at the Pac-12 Championship football game for the University of Colorado in 2016. The Buffs uh, accomplished so much this season. They, it was a year of firsts, like I keep saying on No Bull, Just Buffs on our podcast. It was a year of firsts for Colorado, and tonight uh, it, it doesn't end the way that Buffs fans would have hoped, but the better team won, and UW will be representing uh, the Pac-12 in the college football playoff poll that will be uh, released on Sunday, I would imagine. It would be very hard, and the committee would have a lot of explaining to do if they chose to leave Washington out. If, at this point, to me, it's uh, a, a pretty, uh, pretty much a lock that UW gets in. But again, for the Buffaloes, they lose this 41-10, to and they await uh, 
the, the final decision on where they're going to end up playing their bowl game. They've got to wrap up finals, and Coach Mike McIntyre was talking about, of course, that is priority number one right now, and then getting these guys healthy, and then being able to send these seniors and the class that came in with him off on a good note. And I think for the Buffaloes and for Sefa Lufau, Tedrick Thompson, all of the seniors on this team, the 27 seniors, it's very important that they get the ship righted and they can find a way to end the season on a positive note. Well, it was not the best performance by any means for Colorado tonight, but still an incredible season. And they're not done yet. There's still more football to be played. If it is the Alamo Bowl, uh, like I think it might be, that's December 29th, and that, of course, in San Antonio, Texas. From Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California, I am Matt Smith for 5280 Sports Network. Go online to 5280sportsnetwork.com and follow our family of podcasts as well. Go on to Twitter, follow along at Real Matt Smith. That's Matt with one T at 5280sportsnet, or you can find us online at 5280sportsnetwork.com.